Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. This tutorial will look at creating an organization chart within Visio from an Excel spreadsheet. Now I've got Visio in front of me at the moment with a typical get started screen. Ask me what template I'd like to use, what type of drawing I'm looking to create. What I'd like to do, just switching over to my spreadsheet here, is create an organization chart using this data. Now this is quite a typical scenario within businesses where not everyone will have a license to have Visio in their machine. Now they may update details using a spreadsheet and it's up to you know, an individual to create the organization chart from that. So they want a way of importing this spreadsheet data into Visio and Visio to create the organization chart from that for them. This spreadsheet has just been typed up by me using some fictional data some very simple data, there could be a lot more here. You know, typically with employees, you'll be seeing you know, addresses and contact numbers and start dates. You can have all that stuff. The key fields really are these three at the start, or especially fields A and C, or columns A and C. Who the person is and who they report to. This information visual will need to actually define the organization, define that diagram. Okay, I'm going to close that drawing down and switch back to the Visio drawing. And from the data menu, I'm going to choose to insert data solutions and an organization chart. This will start up the wizard, the organization chart wizard. Here we go. First question, where is this data stored that you want to create your organization chart from? Now, as we've already seen, it is in an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to leave it as it's already stored in a file and click next. Step two, what type of file? We're going to stick with the middle one. It is an Excel file. Next again. Now I want to know where is that file? And it already has the, the, the correct file path in there that I would like to use. So I'm going to choose next. Obviously we have a browse button to to browse for the and locate the required file if it did not have it. Okay, important step. Uh, how is the how is the data defined? How is Visio going to know how to create this organization chart from that spreadsheet? Well, for the person's name, we're going to use the field or a column inside Excel called name. You know, that's the header that I decided to use. And for reports too, there's also a header called reports too. Now, if I use these drop down lists, it will show me the five fields. That we saw in our spreadsheet a moment ago. You know, these were just created by me. That that could say anything. It could say manager. And it'd be your responsibility here to match them up. Okay, so but this is fairly simple. Let's use the same terminology. You know, if you're going to do this kind of stuff, you can create an Excel uh, like template that you can provide other users with. So there's, there's going to be no issues when you match them up at stages like this. Just going to click on next. Now we'll get information about what you'd like to display and what data would you like to display. This is stuff's already set up. We've got a preview on the left-hand side where in each shape uh, we're going to have a person's name and their job title. Not interested in this other stuff. In other tutorials, which are, you'll find at, at computergargo.com, we'll go into things like data graphics and stuff where we'll look at where these other fields can be incorporated into your drawing or your diagrams later on. But for now, we're just going to show our, our name and a job title. Onwards we go. Next, it's for the shape data fields. Um, so you may need to, to you may want to add extra data to your diagram, not just what you see, the actual important bit, the drawing itself. But if you want to add extra functionality for, uh, for exporting reports or for using things like data graphics, um, some shape data fields. Um, in this scenario, everything's been added apart from reports too, really. That's important for... It's to define the organization, but no more than that. Next again. Now, how we want to define the organization across pages. Now, this organization is very large. In this case, it's not. It's only a simple example. But it's bound to break more than one page if it is. Would you like the wizard to do it automatically, or would you like to do it? In this case, I've chosen that I would like to do this on my own. Next again. And that asks you, okay, on what pages? You know, if you want to do it on your own, um, because your breakdown of your organization says, well, at the moment, you're going to have one page. This page is going to have the employee at the top called Lily G. 
Um, you probably won't remember this from that spreadsheet, but uh, Lily G is the IT director. That is the top shape. You know, if I was going to use the managers below here, it would break onto four different pages. Otherwise, I could always add my own page at this point. You know, delete pages, modify pages. I can move them up. You know, reorder them with these buttons down below. But I'm happy with what I've got. So it's just a small organisation chart. It's going to fit on one page easy. So all I'm going to do is click on finish. That will update my shape information, load it across here. It's arranging shapes and page, and there we go. If I, if I zoom in, there you go, Lily G, the IT director on top. Here's the four manager shapes. Lily wasn't there, I could have put these maybe on four different pages. You know, things like tech sports, huge area, or website sports, huge area. I may have them on different pages. I think about the previous step. Uh, but that is it, organisation chart completed. Uh, exported from an Excel spreadsheet straight into Visio. Visio creates it for you. Now you can add extra stuff at this point. Uh, but that is it, it's just that. Thank you for watching. Please check out some other tips and tutorials at computer.carguard.com. And I hope to see and hear from you soon.